In English today, we are meant to present a project based on our research question. Mine goes like this. Many biracial teenagers feel disconnected from one or both parts of their ethnicity, especially if they live in a community where no one shares their culture. How do different factors influence the way individuals feel about their ethnicity? That is a complicated question to answer. How to begin? A Foot in Each Door, poem by Valentina Russell. My whole life has been a series of doors, rushing to open one, rushing not to let another one close, those darn doors. Sometimes I can't control why they open or why they close. That's just the way life goes. But what hurts? is when I have one foot in each door and it feels like the world is trying to lock me out. Lock me out for not being enough. Lock me out for being too much of one thing, pero no suficiente del otro. Me miran en la tienda as I walk in to buy a hot chocolate and a bear claw. And the cashier speaks to me in English. As if she didn't just say buenos dias, to the lady buying conchas and a cafe in line before me. That lady is Hispanic. But so am I. Aren't I? When I am at school, and my friends speak of their quinceañeras and their celebrations and their trips to Mexico, I don't have the same traditions. My Spanish is spoken with an accent. I know this because of the girl in 8th grade that once made fun of me for it and how I hear the difference in my AP Spanish class. My Spanish is broken. It's broken fragments of a language I love and yearn to speak but cannot as well as I wish. My English is good. My English is great. I do pronounce some words differently though, like my mama. For example, picture this, a fish swimming in the river, knowing where to go, following the path home. I am not that fish. I do not know where to go. My father says salmon with no L. I say salmon with the L. Es así en español. When I go visit my dad's southern side of the family, they speak to me about school and what it's like in California and how speaking Spanish is going. They don't want me to lose it like they did generations ago. But I am not as white as they are. I am not as white as my aunt, who drinks her iced tea at the crawfish boil during Mardi Gras season with her neighbors as they discuss politics. I am not as white as my peers, who talk about their ski trips and make off-handed jokes about being Mexican. I'm not Mexican. I'm Honduran. Central America and North America are two different places. I may be bad at some geography, but I know that. Mexico and Honduras are two different places. I say I'm from Honduras. But how can I be from a place I've only ever been as a child and in my dreams? I spent one summer there. The longest period of time I've ever been there. I climbed a mango tree and swam in the sea. It's different from here. But different from there in Mexico. Mexico and Honduras are two different places. I don't have pozole like they do in Mexico or tamales made the same way as my friend's abuelitas. I have platanos fritos for breakfast. I have pollo con loroco that my bisabuela Mama Meches loves. I have sopa de frijoles or sopa de pollo that my abuela Wuti makes even if it's a hundred degrees outside. It's good for the soul, she once said. 
Chicken soup can't heal that rift in my soul, though. The foot in one door, the foot in the other. I don't seem Hispanic enough for some. I don't seem white enough for others. I used to see Disney princesses and American girl dolls and models who were so, so beautiful. I wanted to be them. They were skinny. They were blonde. They were white. I was a 13-year-old girl with hair I didn't know what to do with. Curls I didn't understand. I had glasses and crooked teeth and a bigger nose and curves they didn't. I didn't understand why I didn't look like them, or even like my aunt from my dad's side did. But I had curly hair like my mom's Thea did. I was and I am a mix of both these worlds. Even if having one foot in one door and one in the other is no way to live a life, that's how I do it. My life is a balancing act. I am an acrobat. I balance all the time. Balancing out stereotypes and expectations that society and family places. I mustn't fall into the stereotype of the Latina who fails school, who curses too much and goes to bailes yelling the lyrics to Carlos Vives. I mustn't fall into the whitewashed girl, leaving her heritage behind and losing her language. I must get good grades, I mustn't go to parties, I must be a good daughter, tengo que hacer a todos orgullosos, I must make them all proud. Am I proud? The balancing act is a skill to master. Lean too much to one side, and you're done for. I'm not done yet. One foot in each door. That's how it's been for me. That's how it is for so many. When will having one foot in each door be enough? When will those doors not be on the verge of locking? And when will I have one foot in each door and see into both clearly and perfectly? And finally, be enough. Thank you.